In this video, we are going to see how to find a derivative of a to the power x. Here, the base is a, which is a constant, and uh, the power is x, that is variable. Okay, whenever uh, the power in a function is a variable, and if you want to find derivative of that one, you have to use the logarithm. So please remember this point. So you want to find derivative of a particular function where you have variable in exponent. So you have to use logarithm. So the first step what we need to do is we have to take logarithm on both sides. In calculus, in differential and integral calculus, always we, we use natural logarithm. So I am taking natural logarithm on both sides of this function. Then I get ln y is equal to ln a to the power of x. Okay, here on the right side I am going to use uh, the power rule of logarithm. That is, in a logarithm, if the argument is exponential, we can move this exponent in front of this logarithm. So this is the power rule of uh, logarithm. So we get ln y is equal to x times ln a. Okay, already I have told you that a is a constant. When a is a constant, logarithm of a will also be a constant. So this ln a is a constant. This constant is multiplied by the variable x. Okay, now we can find derivative on both sides. Okay, so now I am going to find derivative on both sides with respect to x. When I find derivative of this ln y, we are uh, we all know that the derivative of uh, logarithm is just one over y. Okay, so far I have completed derivative only for this logarithm of y. By chain rule, I have to find the derivative of this argument y with respect to x, because for this function my aim is derivative means it's nothing but dy over dx. So dy over dx means derivative of y with respect to x. So on both sides of the function, we have to find derivative with respect to x. So when you find derivative of this ln y is just 1 over y by chain rule, you have to find the derivative of this argument y with respect to x. So the derivative of y with respect to x is dy over dx. Okay, on the right side, we have ln a, it is a constant multiplied by the variable x. Whenever a variable is multiplied by a constant, uh, when you find derivative, you have to keep the constant as it is, find the derivative of the variable alone. So if you find the derivative of this x with respect to x, it will be just 1 and you have to keep the constant ln a as it is. So we have 1 over y times dy over dx is equal to ln a. Okay, my aim is to get only dy over dx, so I have to get rid of this 1 over y. For that, I need to multiply both sides by y. So when I multiply both sides by y, the y here and here will cancel. It just get dy over dx is equal to y times ln a on the right side. Okay, so here we already know that y is equal to a to the power x. So we can replace y by a to the power x. So finally, we get dy over dx is equal to a to the power x times ln a. So the derivative of a to the power x is just a to the power x ln a. So instead of doing a uh, uh, derivation always, better we can uh, remember this one like a formula. That is the derivative of a to the power x is equal to a to the power x times ln a. So you have to remember the base is a constant and the exponent is a variable. In that case, its derivative will be a to the power x ln a. Okay, let's consider some other examples like uh, 2 to the power x. Again, the base is a constant and the exponent is a variable. So, its derivative will be 2 power x times ln 2. So, here wherever you have a, uh, I just replace a by 2. In case if you have 5 to the power x, its derivative will be 5 to the power x times ln 5. So in this way we can get uh, derivative of any exponential function like a power x. Okay. Let us look at an another example. Consider the function y is equal to e to the power x. We already know that e is a mathematical constant. Its approximate value will be 2.71828. Okay. So again it is an exponential function because uh, the exponent is a variable. So the same thing what we have done for a to the power x. So before we find derivative we have to take logarithm on both sides. So then we get ln y is equal to ln e to the power x. So on the right side, uh, we can use uh, the power rule of logarithm. Then we get x times ln e. Okay, as I told you, uh, 
this one and this one both are natural logarithms because in calculus we use only natural logarithms. So, a natural logarithm will always have the base e. So, for this natural logarithm also the base will be e. Already we have the argument e. In any logarithm the if the base and argument are same I mean are equal the value of such logarithm is 1. So, in this logarithm the base is e and argument is e. So, the value of this logarithm is just 1. Then we get ln y is equal to just x times 1 we get ln y is equal to x. Okay, now, we can start uh, finding derivative. Okay, so, if you find derivative, so that is uh, we have to find derivative with respect to x because y is equal to e to the power x, we have to find dy over dx. Okay, when I find uh, derivative with respect to x here on the left side for ln y, I get 1 over y by chain rule, I have to find the derivative of this y with respect to x, I get dy over dx. On the right side, when I find derivative of this x with respect to x, it will be just 1. So, now we can multiply both sides by y to get rid of this uh, 1 over y. So, this y, y will cancel out, we just get dy over dx on the left side. 1 times y is just y, we have on the we have y on the right side. Already we know that y is equal to e to the power x. So, we can replace y by e to the power x. So, now it is clear the derivative of e to the power x is just e to the power x. Let us look at another example y is equal to a to the power of a. Here a is a constant. So, look at here a is a constant for that constant a again we have the same constant as the exponent. So, this is completely a constant. Okay, if you find derivative of this one what we have is dy over dx is equal to just 0 because a constant to the power of constant again uh, will be a constant. So, a to the power a is a completely a constant. So, its derivative will be 0. I think this video will be much helpful for you uh, for all the students uh, who study calculus. So, if you like this video please subscribe our channel. Thank you all.